So hello again, um, I'm Jessica. And for this talk, I'll be just going over concurrent write backs on the MSM DPU driver. Um, so before I get into the driver specific details, I'm just gonna go over a bit about the DRM clone mode. So basically clone mode just allows um, multiple encoders to share the same um, CRTC. And uh, for a driver to enable this, um, they just have to set the possible clone spit mask for their encoders. Um, and then next, about a bit about um, concurrent write back as a feature on DPU, specifically for the SM8650. So uh, concurrent write back is basically the ability to allow um, a driver to commit both to a real time display and to a write back output at the same time. Um, it involves two new hardware blocks. Um, the first is just the CWB MUX. Um, the second will be the dedicated CWB ping pongs. This will basically be um, like a hardware pipe to the write back output for the CWB use cases. Um, this is only for our newer chipsets, so for DPU version 8.x and above. Um, there are a few use cases for this. Um, the first one is just wireless display. The second one, which I'll kind of be demoing today, is screen recording. And um, for validation, I did it on the SM8650 mobile test platform. And then I used, I added a subtest for the IGT uh, KMS write back that will allow us to uh, test on clone mode. So um, as you can see here, um, we have two different pipelines. Uh, the first one is from the layer mixer all the way down to like a real panel or a real monitor, for example. The second one can, um, you can divert the stream from the same layer mixer to the CWB mux and CWB ping pong, and then to the right back output. Um, and as you can see, this way you can, uh, you can leverage the DRM clone mode to enable concurrent write back for DPU. So, um, Yeah, so I made a few um, changes to both the framework and to the driver. For the framework changes, it was just adding a valid clone mode check um, to the DRM atomic uh, check mode set. This is basically just validation to make sure that the encoders you're cloning are actually possible, uh, possible clones of each other. Um, the second was just to add a simple helper to detect if a CRTC is being cloned by multiple encoders. So for uh, driver specific changes, there was a lot of uh, a lot of more complex changes, but the basic ones were just adding um, an abstraction to allow us to program the CWB MUX registers, um, changing the write back uh, hardware block programming to allow for a CWB ping pong input, and then finally actually setting the possible clones bit mask for DPU. And then um, if you want to, if you're interested in like more specific details about both um, the feature and the test, you can follow the series on patchwork and also on the mailing lists here. And now for the demo. So for this, I'm gonna try to, basically for this, I just wrote a simple script to, um, Sorry, just a moment. I just wrote a simple script that will allow me to play back a couple of images to both the real-time display, both to, sorry, to both the real-time display and the uh, mobile test platform here. Um, and let's see, hopefully no, no uncovering bugs here. So uh, right now, this is just outputting a high quality image. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of latency with uh, displaying the image it directly into the terminal. Um, it's, not gonna, it's not necessarily from the write back itself. Um, yeah, it's just that I haven't really optimized the script or the image viewer tool yet. Um, I can show you a more lower quality image, but one that will actually run at a reasonable frame rate. So 
so yeah, this is the image playing in a with a lower latency. And yeah, that's a basically concurrent writeback. You can see that it was. Hopefully, you saw that it was displaying both on the real time display and in the image itself. But yeah, any questions? All right, well, thank you so much. So um, basically what I did was I just uh, piped the write back frame buffer into a Rust tool called Viewer. Um, it's just an API that allows you to display an image directly in the terminal. So um, I'm not sure if you're able to tell with the, with the quality, but the image pixel size is actually like the size of the font on the uh, screen. But so it's like it's a full character size thing. It's yeah. not. It's not encoding multiple pixels per character. Yeah, it's basically yeah. like one pixel per yeah. character. Cool. Um, if that's all the questions, uh, yeah. Thank you so much.